Okay, in this project we're going to give the car two reverse lights and two rear fog lights from factory. They only come with a, in the UK I think it's a right hand one, a fog light and reverse light. Which I think is frankly a bit, um, a bit poor, it would be kind of cool to have dual um, fog lights and reverse lights. So um, let's get on with it. Now, as you know, the car comes factory with the lens already in place and the lens in place on the left-hand side. So I've already removed the um, inner lining. It's just a, a bunch of these that you just need to pull out and undo the tool tray. The two screw holes, one there and one there, and then a plastic clip that just goes in there. And once you take that out, the tray just lifts out. Uh, that, get, that gets the tools out of the way and then once you pull all these out and a handful of them all of these um, once you pull all them out the um, lining just just pops out so i'll just leave them down here for now um, so all you got to do really to get the light to work is um, put this in place get one of these put that in place uh, and that wires into the other one so I've just tapped into there. So as you can see, you just um, figure out which is the reverse light, which is the fog light, and you just tap into them. Looks a bit, um, <laughs> excuse my work there. <laughs> but, um, and then run it across, and that's it. When I bought it, I got um, the connector with it and a bit of cable, so I uh, don't know if your car may have it in place or not. I don't know. I think they might be already in place, actually. But nonetheless, I've got a spare one, so you've already got the connector. And um, so that's what you've got to do that fast, this fast, so, okay. Okay, so here we are. So it's pretty easy to get them out. All you've got to do is, um, see this here, you can see there's a clip in there. All you've got to do is, is press down on that and it just pops out, so and just uh, disconnect the connector. So here's the original one. This is the left-hand one, uh, sorry, the driver's side one. And you'll see the circuit. So you use a, a bus bar type system. You can see the circuit all around. Okay. So this is the earth part and the positive part is down inside. So we'll just take the bulbs out so you can have a look. Hang on. So here we are. Now you can see how it works. So just have a look how it works. So the center part is a positive, so you can see the track going across there and around this way. Okay. And same with this one, it comes out down here and around this way. Okay. So it's fairly straightforward and you can see from the tracks here, which is a positive and which is the earth. The middle one is an earth. And you can see the track goes right around. Okay. So, the way around this is um, I just simply, now from factory, this is already there in place from factory. I'll just take these bulbs out. So from factory, this is actually already in place. But uh, what they didn't do is they didn't include this track. Along here, they did, uh, sorry, this bit here. They didn't include that and uh, of course didn't connect up the uh, the power to run them so all I did what I did was um, bought myself instead of spending a ton uh, buying a European one and getting across I think it's about were they 20 or 30 pound or something ridiculous I don't know you can check but anyway all I did was buy another uh, driver side one wasn't perfect and so all I did was um, cut this piece out from here in the driver's side one. I cut that out, right, and then inserted it into here because this all this track was already in place, as you can see, already there. So all you are missing is this, and so you just need to put that in place. So once you put that in there. You've already got the positive down in the centre there. So you've already got that. So you just need this um, outer track. Once that's put in, it gives you the earth, the negative side around there, and um, then it will work. And similarly, 
with the um, which one that is with this side um, all you need to do is um, connect the the right wires up which I showed you before so once you do that this whole thing will come to life uh, for next to nothing I think it cost me about eight pound in all, all up to do the job so way better than um, spending big bucks at BMW to to buy right hand, um, to buy the European one um, and as you can see that's the only modification I did and once you connect up that circuit everything else is there in place I didn't have to touch any of that I just cleaned up the positive terminals you can probably see down there just um, cleaned it up with a screwdriver and a bit of sandpaper because they weren't in use um, and that's all you need to do simple as that so let me put the bulbs back in and I will show you it working okay here we go back at the car so I've already um, connected that one up all you simply do oh, try this one-handed you simply just put your socket in there and it'll whoops clip in place and I will show you um, it working so let me get the car keys and I'll demonstrate it to you okay so here I am sorry it's about the Sun and all that um, inside the car so what you must do to, to test it turn your ignition on okay you can see now you must have the headlights on press the uh, rear um, fog light button you press that the light will come on in the dash there there you go and, um, and you will see and there you are hey presto fog light there you go two fog lights okay right now i will show you the next bit the reverse light so you'll see two reverse lights come on in a moment so okay so they're both off i'll just go and uh, put it in reverse okay back inside the car ignition on right, focus in reverse Okay, in reverse. Now. There right, ignition on. Okay. And in reverse. And we are now in reverse. There you are. Oh, sorry about the sun. Ignition on. Okay, ignition on and uh, in reverse. There we go. Now let's have a look at the back. And here you are. Reverse light one. Oh, so we got dual reverse light. How cool! Better than the factory original one reverse light. In Europe, you only have the left hand reverse light and. UK you only have a right hand one well this car's now got two so I'll just plug all that in place it's quite simple you just line that up and it will just uh, clip in place like that sorry a little bit fiddly and the same with this side just slot back up in the hole and just press it so that they um, the clip makes that noise and clip in place so let's have a look and here you are from the outside of the car one reverse light dual reverse light there you go how cool and I'll show you the um, fog lights hang on and here we are lights are on one fog light lights on and a fog light so we have dual fog lights and dual reverse light there you go okay and now you can see it's all like factory all nice and um, neat and tidy now it's just a matter of putting this uh, trim back in all well, these plugs back in they just simply line up with the holes Oop. a bit hard one hand Just uh, put the trim back 
Well, look. There you go. And uh, that's all there is to the trim. Okay, there's, uh, I'm not sure how many of these there are. There you go. And here you are putting the uh, here we are putting the um, tool tree back. So I put that in first, then slot the hinges down in these slots there, and they come here. So just do that up for a little bit, and then the um, screws have a little um, bit of carpet or whatever it is on them, and uh, that's all there is to it. Just do them up gently. You don't need to do them up tight. Just a little bit firm. Same with that one. And there you have it. That's how you do dual reverse light and dual uh, fog lights. Job's done. Job's a good one. Okay. So. Thanks for watching.